Hey everybody, so in the last video we talked about reshaping our data and we reshaped the data so that they're in long form instead of wide form. In this video we want to talk about changing the values in the cells um, so that they make more sense for analysis. Uh, one thing that we said about the data is that we have the strange year identifier variable where we have both the year and then a space and then the year in brackets. And then also we have the values for our main variable of interest here, female labor force participation as uh, in character format. And we want those to be in numeric format. And our year variable should probably be either a date or in numeric format. In this video, we're just gonna change it into numeric format and uh, we'll talk about dates later on in the course. So in order to do this, we're gonna be using two key functions from the dplyr package, mutate and mutate at. Mutate is the function anytime you wanna change a variable, you wanna change the format of a variable, or you wanna manipulate the variable so that um, it's like multiplied by another variable. Um, anytime you wanna change a variable, you're gonna be using mutate mutate at is just the version of mutate you want to use when you want to do the same thing to multiple variables at the same time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We can start a new section in our quarto document and we can call it truncating strings and changing variable types. And then we can add some text and we can say a little bit about what we're going to do. We are going to transform two string variables into numeric uh, type and along the way we are going to truncate one of our strings which is going to be our year variable okay so let's go ahead and add a code chunk and we can go ahead and we can label it. Let's just call it truncate. And so what we're going to do if we want to write a comment here is to fix year and FLFP variables. Okay. And we'll go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite our existing wb underscore data data frame by changing what is in the existing wb underscore data data frame. So uh, we'll write wb underscore data and then an assignment operator and then wb underscore data again, uh, signifying that we want to transform this wb underscore data data frame and then um, create, basically overwrite what's in the existing data frame. Okay, so then we're going to call mutate and we're going to call, we're going to use the substring function from base R to transform this year variable so that it's just the year as opposed to year space bracket and then year again. Okay, so we want to truncate this, uh, take a substring so that we're only seeing the first four characters of this string. So we're going to say year equals substring. So substring is going to take three arguments. First, the variable that we want to transform, which is going to be year. Then the index number of the first character that we want to extract then the index number of the last character that we want to extract. So that's going to be one and then four because one is the first, uh, the index number of the first character and four is the index number of the fourth character and we want the first four characters of year, right? So that we have 1973 or 74 or 1975 or 1976, all right? And remember that R is indexed from the number one. So unlike Python or some other languages which have zero based indexing, um, anytime we want to identify uh, the first 
number in an index, it's going to be one, not zero. All right. So once we finish that, um, we want to add another pipe operator because we want to continue to manipulate the data frame that we're working on. And um, we're going to call here mutate at. So again, this is when we want to change, do the same thing to more than one variable. We're going to call mutate at. And here we're going to change both year and female labor force participation and transform them to numeric variables. So then we're going to use the combine function to tell R that we want to apply mutate at to two variables, we want to apply it to both year and female labor force participation. Okay, and then what do we want to do to those variables? We want to change them to numeric. So we're just going to say as dot numeric, comma, as dot numeric. Okay, and that is basically it. So after we're done with that, we'll go ahead and view the data with our glimpse function. All right, and let's run that and see if it worked. Okay, and it's telling us NAs introduced by coercion, and that is fine. That just means that there's a lot of missing data. Um, but what we want to see here is that we have numeric variables, so these are now doubles year and female labor force participation are now doubles which is a numeric format and we see that the year variable is truncated in the way that we wanted it to be truncated so what R did here was first to turn this into a substring it truncated the string and then it converted the year variable into numeric while at the same time changing female labor force participation into numeric and if we want to just kind of make sure that everything is right, we can click on the data frame and we can scroll down here and we can see, yes, that we do have data from female labor force participation. Um, it's just missing for a lot of countries, but that's fine. So the next video, um, the last video in this module, we just have to clean up these variable names, these remaining variable names that are not in snake case to put them in snake case. Uh, and then we'll be done. I'll see you in the next video.